All right, Cassie, thank you so much. Movie guy Will Meyer joining us now, telling us what to see, skip, and rent this week. We only have one new release this week, but mm -hmm. we have a lot of fun things to talk about coming up. But first, we'll start with Money Monster with George yeah. Clooney. Yeah, this is a new drama um, with you know an A-list cast, George Clooney, Julia Roberts. You've got mm -hmm. Jodie Foster directing a great young actor named Jack O'Connell. I was excited for it because of that, also because you know I've kind of had to prepare myself that for the next couple of months, I'm pretty much only going to be seeing movies that are either superhero movies or sequels. <laughs> so this is kind of an outlier. It's nice to see a drama tucked away in summer movie season. Uh, but you, you'd think with a cast like this, you can't miss. But unfortunately, this movie tells us sometimes you can. This is a movie that wants to act as social commentary and the subtext here is the 08 financial crisis. Mm -hmm. Even though it's been eight years since that now, we've still had good movies made about it. Last year's The Big Short mm -hmm. really gave some insight into the causes of the crisis, the stupidity and the corruption involved. This movie wants to be insightful, prescient, thought-provoking, cause outrage, all of those things, but I think it fails on really every account. It kind of insults the audience's intelligence by not giving them any information. You don't really learn any anything in this movie. Um, it keeps everything really shallow, and the message is one we've heard you know, a thousand times since 2008. And so, well, light on message, heavy on entertainment, hopefully, but no, it really wasn't heavy on entertainment either. I think this is moderately diverting at best. It's a hostage movie you've seen uh, many times before, and you've seen it better. Uh, you know, I just kept sitting there during the movie saying, please get better, please get better. You know, I love, I love all the people involved and I really didn't want to say skip this movie but there's not really much of a reason to see it unfortunately. All right. Well, we'll move on to something better. Okay, yeah. A absolutely. movie that hasn't come out yet. This no, is kind yeah. of fun. This comes out this next Friday. This is a movie that premiered at Cannes last year. It's called The Lobster. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, a movie that has Colin Farrell, Rachel Weisz, uh, John C. Riley, uh, Ben Wishaw. It's from uh, one of my favorite directors, this Greek director named Yorgos Lanthimos. This is his first English language film. Um, this movie had rave reviews when it came out last year. I'm excited to see this movie probably more than any other movie, maybe you know even this year. And it's a movie that I've already seen. I actually got a chance to see it when it premiered internationally. And I absolutely loved it. It's a movie, uh, the premise is it's set in a dystopian future where single adults, bear with me here, are given 45 days to find a mate. If they fail to do so, then they're turned into an animal of their choice. So it's an absurd okay. premise, but it's a comedy, so it works. It's played straight though, so there's a lot of deadpan humor. Um, it's also a satire of the highest caliber. This movie really skewers dating in the modern age and how, especially with all these sites and the pressure to find a mate so quickly that it's become you know more meaningless, I think. So it's a movie that's hilarious. Uh, it's <laughs> It's bizarre with a capital B, but I think it's actually really romantic, too. It, it just hits so many bases for me. I loved it, and I can't wait to see it again. All right, and you can see that one next Friday. And if you want an oldie but a goodie yeah. this week, you can never go wrong with Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Wise words, Katie. This is a movie that they brought back to theaters today and Wednesday. Um, it's a movie, I know it's showing at... Uh, Cinemark and Oak Ridge. I think it may be showing at West Town. I'm not sure, but this is a movie that's a classic. If you haven't uh, seen it before, absolutely go see it and take, uh, you know, your your preteen kids. This is a movie that's so much fun. I can't wait to show it to my nieces and nephews. There's so many iconic scenes in this movie, from yeah, the parade scene to the car falling out of the garage. <laughs> uh, you know, anybody who's you know been to school can relate to the adventures of this guy who's just on a quest to have as much yeah. fun as possible on his day skipping school. But I think that you know, even more than that, this is a movie that actually I think is kind of inspiring. I know that may sound trite, but this is a movie every time I see it. As someone who has a tendency to be an introvert, it reminds me, you know, to live life to the fullest, open yourself to new experiences. It's a great movie. Absolutely, you know, good for a cold day like today. You're looking for the uh, the meat in there. I, I'm trying to, always, yeah. <laughs> and it didn't say it on there, but I say you recommend that movie, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. Uh, that is yes. a definite see it. All right, Will, thank you so much. Thank you.